Hello everyone, welcome to my code wrapper channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce a new lesson which is related to the Google Maps API. So most of the time we know that we can embed Google Maps into our website. That's a very simple steps and you can uh, do it very quickly. But in this time, what I want you to show you is how to point some locations in your website by utilizing the Google Maps API. So not only one point, you can use multiple points in the Google Map API. So in this example, you can see I have two points mentioned and those two points will be added into the Google Map API. So if you consider about uh, basic examples where the longitudes and the latitudes are mentioned in the database and what you do is you will collect those data and by going through it you will be placing the locations in the Google map so that kind of a scenario how are you going to do it so this tutorial will focusing on that I have a ready-made code available so you can simply go into it and understand or else I'll be giving some basic guide for uh, how to work with this code so you should understand there's a pre requirement that you should have some basic understanding of Java script so by using that you can get the support of the Google map API for this I need jQuery library so as you know that the jQuery library is a framework which is run on top of the JavaScript so we are using that and then this is the code begins right so before you start the JavaScript in your HTML you should have a place a canvas to show the Google map so that can be done using the div tag and you can give different height widths and some designs for that as well so once you have the placeholder in the HTML then we'll move on to the JavaScript so in the JavaScript there are a few sections that you want to discuss a uh, one section is you should have the collection of data so in my case I have already prepared a JavaScript object so the object contains the set of data so in that data it's very important that you should have the latitude and the longitude of the I map position so that is what Google map is used to find the location on the Google map so that's the one first requirements so you can find out in using some different tools and once you do that then we'll move on to the next part so you can see I have a function with the name view cus view customer in Google map so custom Google map function for that I need a set of data so these data are the object that I showed you before so this total object we are passing to this function line number 49 okay so we have once you pass that then we have some pre requirements to be satisfied one is I want to get the Google map instance to my code base so you can see I have variable so the variable get an instance of the Google Maps and then I need to point out the uh, basic uh, location a main location in the Google map because that is the area which will be going to zoom when the page is loaded so that's one requirement so in that case what you can do is you can have some fixed location added into the Google map 
so that is just to identify the location where the other locations are going to pin otherwise like for example you see if you are not giving this what happens the Google map will show the whole world so we know that it's it's kind of a uh, mistaken information because you can't find a proper location in the Google uh, whole world so you have to first go to a country and go to a region or a province so then that will be more convenient so that's what we are going to do it in this line and then what is the zoom level you want so you know that Google provide a nice option to zoom in and zoom out so that we can set as a pre requirement pre value when the Google Maps loaded into your browser so I have given zoom level into six so this will be a ranging from one to a very large number uh, but it has a limitation so once you give that so you can see this is I am handling on to option variable so it's a object again these are the object properties so once you do that then what I want to do is I want to provide this to Google map so line number 61 you can see I use the Google Maps and then first I get the reference to my div tag I'm using the get element by ID that is a basic JavaScript selection option so this is my ID reference to the div tag so that is what we are referring in here so in this Google map I am placing map options so map options I already informed line number 55 it's an object with the starting points of the map and the zooming levels so that will be passed and then what happens when the initialization happen Google map will be point into this location then you need some info we, uh, window to be set up so for example you can see once you click on this icon there's a information window appears so for that I create an instance of the Google Maps dot info window so then my instance will be info window then I need two variables that that is location marker and a variable for the incremental uh, of the loop now in line number 69 what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through the data that I received from the backend or in this case the hard-coded values so when I loop through it I'll be able to collect individual properties of the each and every location so you can see I am looping through until the length of the data set right so it will be getting loop and loop and then uh, it ends up when the length is completed so while this loop going first round second round likewise we are going to collect the longitude and the latitude and pass it into the Google Maps that's the simple or the high level what's going to be happen so then I have a variable location marker which I was declared in line number 64 for the location marker I'll be adding again the new markers what I get from the data set so since you are looping we will be getting each and every item one by one so I'm passing the uh, longitude and the longitude for the markers object so finally once it done we'll be having the object which will be having this information and at the same time I inform what's the map that I'm referring that is the same map which we added initially when the page is load so the position is done map is done if you need your own icon you can have icon as well so in my example this is a default icon which is provided by the Google but 
I'll show you there are other markers that you can collect. So for example, if I uncomment this variable and uncomment this, so then the icon will collect the marker img location, so which is linked to a, a PNG files in a different uh, website. So if I run this, you can see the icons are changed into small bullet points. So those bullet points are coming from a different source. So that is how we are going to modify the image icons. So I'll comment it again. So from line number 78 onwards, we are going to apply our information or the location into the pop-up. Right. So you can see here we are referring to the info window which was initialized in line number 63. So in so when the loop is going on in the first round we will be getting the first location that is set into the Google map and at the same time this will be added into the info window as well. And also we want to make sure that when user click on the icon, map icon, we should show this information. So that's why we create a listener to see whether user has click on the icon. So once he click on the icon then we are going to show some more <coughs> data which was available in the data object. So you can see in my data object I am having some more information, description and the location. So those two information I want to show in the pop-up. So for that we are using another property which is a, a method which is comes with the info window object. So that is set content. So for the set content I am passing the location property value and the description property value. So finally we are going to open the pop-up using the info window dot open method. So that is how it works. So you have the map location to be added and you have option to show some extra information in a pop-up message. So those are the two main things that you can get from the Google Map API. And finally to do all this you should have a, a proper key implemented using the Google API. So uh, this is the link to get a Google API. So you can refer this and then you can collect your own API. So for that you need to have a registered domain or a dumb, uh, it can be a dummy domain and then you need to be uh, create your own API. So once you do that, so you can apply under here key equal the key that you get it from the Google API. So that's one main requirement that you need to do because otherwise what happens it will show error uh, which is saying it's a unauthorized map. So that is how you're going to work with the Google API. So I have pushed this code into the JIT repository and it's in the public so you if you like you can down from that as well. So this is in the the repository called Google API Google Map API under that I have a branch called Google dash map dash multiple. So this is the file you can collect and also I have one example backend service as well. So if you are using the PHP you can have a PHP service running and then you can pass the data in a JSON format. So the JSON format is the acceptance of the Ajax. So you can see I have commented this section. So if you don't have a hard code value and what you can do is you can uncomment this area so which will be 
calling for AJAX request to the file that is the helper dash map.php file and from that it will collect the data and those data will be passed on to our function right, so I hope you understood in high level so it's very really important you need to go through the code and understand and practice so you can apply and see whether it's working properly and other important thing is I don't use any framework in here so this is very pure or basic language requirement is needed you should have HTML running and the JavaScript and jQuery uh, should be plugged into your code so that's the requirement okay. so we'll stop this session so I hope you enjoyed um, and if you have any doubts any clarification you can comment in this video and if you want to view more you can subscribe to my channel okay thank you then